The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, I'm gonna remember when I'm a first to come to this country. After I'm a kiss the ground and I smelled up all the fresh air, I'm a said in a big voice, Luigi, are you gonna do so much for this country? They're gonna change the name from America to United States of Basco. <laughs> but now I'm here two years And the other morning I looked in the mirror and I said Well, Luigi, smart guy What do you do for your country besides eat, sleep and go broke? <laughs> Mamma mia, how I wish I could do something important to make this country proud of me Like, take Abraham Lincoln He was so important They put his picture on a five dollar bill and on a penny this is to show Mr. Lincoln is love the rich people and the poor people all the same. <laughs> then there's a George Washington. Has a hundreds of things named after him. Washington University. George Washington a bridge. George Washington a coffee. And on my block, there's even a Washington a handle laundry. <laughs> Mamma mia, if he was living today, Mr. Washington would make a fortune with all those businesses. <laughs> yeah, and this is a country. If you do something important, they name lots of things after you. Best example. Right here in Chicago is a building named after a piece of tuna gum. That's the regular building. <laughs> but Mamma Mia, what I could do for my country? Maybe, you know, something that would be so big, something they would name something after me. If only, if only some little voice could whisper into my ear and say, Luigi, my friend! <laughs> Hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Oh, oh hello, Pasquale. I, I was so lost in my thoughts. I, hey, hey, wait. Maybe you could help me out. Uh, I'm in a big hurry, Luigi. Is it the money you want? No, no, just advice. Then sit down. I got plenty of time. <laughs> well, my little banana nose, what do you got in your head besides the hair, eh? Pasquale, I would like to do something big for my country. What could I do? Who is a lucky thing you coming to me? Right away, I got the answer. You want to do something real big for your country? Yes, sir. Marry my daughter, Rosa. Pasquale, <laughs> <laughs> I said something big, but not that big. <laughs> Besides, I mean something important, so, so I could have something to name it after me. Well, marry my daughter, Rosa, have a 20 little bambini, they all are going to be named after you. <laughs> Mike Bosco, Francesca Bosco, Giuseppe Bosco, Ralph Bosco, Jim Bosco, Maria... Bosco, Ali, I want to help America, not to fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Maker, fun of people. I'm going to tell you how you can help out, but you ain't going to like it. If you really want to help out America, you go back to Italy. What? Sure. All right, if you're stubborn and you want to stay here, then you go back to your antique shop, close the doors tight, and don't let any American soldier should see your face. Why, Pasquale? Because if he sees what he's fighting for, we ain't got a chance. <laughs> now, Pasquale, you just saying that because of you mad, I'm a no matter you rush. Mad? Who's mad? I'm a no mad. No, then why your face is so red and blown up like a balloon? Because I'm too healthy for my own good, that's why. <laughs> well, it's no use to argue. But I think you gave me a good idea. Maybe I'm going to become a soldier. Oh, oh, oh look who's going to become a soldier. Look, if you want to do something, 
volunteer yourself for a prisoner of war. <laughs> prisoner of war, what's that? Oh, it's very patriotic. It means if an enemy captures an American soldier, you take his place in a prisoner camp. <laughs> no, no, Pasquale, hey, you just try to make a fun of me. There must, there must be something I can do. I know. I joined the army, the navy, the marines, the air corps. Gonna join the army, the navy, marines, air corps. Maybe you even want to join the paratroopers. Paratrooper? Mamma mia. Hey, that would make me a real big hero. Pasquale, I'm gonna be a paratrooper. What are you talking about? You ain't even got a nerve enough to be a papa. How are you gonna be a paratrooper? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Luigi, I don't want... I... I... Uh, go ahead, Luigi, sure. <laughs> Why should I talk you out of it? Yeah, it's to be a paratrooper. Then you come crawling back to me. Yeah, but wait. You think I could be a paratrooper if I'm not a citizen? Oh, sure. You see, Luigi, they always drop you over a foreign country, see? So you don't need a citizen of paper. <laughs> All you need is a passport for the, comp the country they're uh, dropping you in. Dropping me in? I know what you're thinking, Luigi, but it's nothing to it. You see, first they put a parachute on you. Then they take you over the enemy, push you out of the plane. You fall 40,000 feet. Then you pull a little string, and if the parachute opens up, you're safe. Hey, what opens up? Hey, Pasquale, what's a happen if it's not open up? You return it to the company, you get a double your money back. <laughs> Oh, sure, paratroopers always it takes to carry you. Every time you drop, is a farmer and his wife are ready to fix your broken leg, you see? Then they carry you down the cellar, and the beautiful daughters bring you food and wine. The farmers give you some old clothes and a trench coat like an Allen lad, you see? <laughs> then you get chased by the dogs. You start to swim across the river. That's going to stop. I already saw that the picture. <laughs> What's the matter, Luigi? You getting a little scared? Maybe you're changing your mind. Eh? No, not to me, Pasquale, never. But why? Because I'm rather jump 40,000 feet from a parachute than a fall off of the lap of Rosa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you... No, no, you... goodbye, Pasquale. I'm going to tell my night school how I'm going to help out to my country. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Luigi, I personally don't think the paratroopers is for you. I don't think you're strong enough. Yo, ho, when you jump from those airplanes, you land with a gigantic yolt. <laughs> Luigi, if you've got to join something, join the Navy. <laughs> At least you take a trip around the world. You don't see it all at once from the stratosphere. <laughs> The Navy? That's a good idea. It's a nice, clean life, Luigi. Yo -ho, and, and there's no long hikes. Yeah, but the Navy, it's... Uh, uh, Luigi, it's... very few people can join the Navy. You've got to be a genius to button those pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, friends, my mind is made up. I'm gonna... Uh, we have to put out the cigarettes, fellas. It's time to go to the classroom. Yo, yo, go the class? Come on, we're going there right now. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Bowling. Hello, hello, hello. 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 All right, class, all right, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Olson? Hey, yes. Mr. Schultz? Here. Why, Mr. Schultz, I can't believe my ears. When I call the roll, instead of saying here, you usually have something funny to say. Yeah, Miss Spaulding, you wouldn't believe it. I looked at the television all last night, and it was so bad there wasn't a thing I could steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but smile, Miss Spaulding. I'll think of something. I can imagine. Well, class, for today we were... Oh, Mr. Basco, you had your hand raised. Uh, Miss Spaulding, I want to ask you something about the, the padded troops. Ah, there he goes, jumping off again. <laughs> Luigi. Luigi, why don't you think it over first? Your uh, the best. Class, please, please. please, please. No, no. Mr. Basco, what were you starting to say? Well, uh, Miss Balding, I was thinking I'm here two years in America. So maybe I could be something or do something bigger for my country like I like it to be paratrooper. I could be a big hero. I could have win at the war. I could have... Well, met... Mr. Basco, I hate to disappoint you, but I don't think you can become a paratrooper. Huh? Why not? Well, I, I think you've got to be a citizen. 
Well, now that you've got your discharge papers, let's all go out and sell it. <laughs> ah, smile, Luigi. Hello, class. Class, I know you all are my good friends. And you want, I'm sure, to do what's the best. Still, I'm, I'm not to feel right. Oh, there's no reason for that feeling at all, Mr. Basco. Well, last year I was uh, so ashamed. I'm not even made enough the money to pay income tax. That's too bad. But still, I'm wanted to do something. So I'm put the money in an envelope and wrote the, here's a dollar to pay for your blank. <laughs> you know, that's a funny thing. I sent them a dollar, too. Hey, you did, Schultz? Yeah, but it didn't do any good. They still want everything I owe them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. I'm only trying to cheer you up. Luigi, as far as I'm concerned, you're a great American right now. Yeah, but, but uh, friends, you see... I'm going to help. Mr. I'm... Basco, I have an idea for you. Have you given blood yet? Miss Spalding, you mean as a patriotic, I'm going to shoot a cut to myself? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Mr. Basco. You go down to the blood bank, they take a pint of your blood, and it goes to our wounded soldiers. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Mrs. Spalding. You should oh, do it, Louis. Really. Yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to do it with just a one pint. I'm going to make up for the two years I'm here. I'm going to give a pint of blood today. Not a pint of tomorrow. Then the day after that, and the day after no, the stop, that, stop, Luigi. I... Save some for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're liable to go to the barber for a shave. Now, he could be the greatest barber in the world. But if you don't laugh at his stories, Himmel will you need it. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's an easy, inexpensive way to make your daily work more pleasant. Chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum while you work. You'll find that the smooth, easy chewing gives you a lot of satisfaction, helps keep you going along without getting a fresh, clean taste in your mouth. It's refreshing, long-lasting, and really delicious. So tomorrow, before you start your day's routine, make sure you're all set for chewing enjoyment. Get a few packages of healthful, refreshing Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. And now let's return to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, Miss Spalding has given me a wonderful idea how I'm going to help America. And who knows, maybe they never name something after me after all. I'm going to expect a bridge, a river, a building, anything big like that. Just something small, like, like, like instead of a city dumps, it should be called the Basco Dumps. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give a blood at you to help some American soldier. So I'm going to write them out to the Red Cross. It's a funny thing, Mamma Mia. I'm going to look all over for the Red Cross. And I guess where I'm going to find it. In my own bank. Uh-huh. Right on the window was a sticker was to say, Give it to the Red Cross. <laughs> Imagine how I'm here at two years. How is the first time I'm going to know my bank is a take of blood? <laughs> As in a one is it called a blood bank. Well, I'm going to write to you more later. Right now, I'm going to my bank. And... Oh, hello, Mr. Manager. Hello, Mr. Basco. Anything I can do for you? No, no, that's all right. I'm looking for the right to window. You wish to make a withdrawal or a deposit? Withdrawal or a deposit? You mean I'm not only give it, but I'm gonna get it? <laughs> well, of course. Well, right now I'm gonna make a deposit. All right, over there. All right. Uh, Something wrong, Mr. Basco? Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm looking for a bottle. A bottle? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm a can't make a deposit without a bottle. <laughs> This I don't get. Well, you're not supposed to. That's for a soldier. What? Mr. Basco, will you please straighten me out? What's the matter? Can you stand up straight by yourself? <laughs> now, see here. Are you making a deposit for a soldier in a bottle? Is he in the Navy and the only way you can get the money to him is to float it in? Oh, so that's what's wrong. How, how you think I'm a depositing the money, huh? I'm a not. I'm a depositing the blood. 
What's the matter? Do our tellers look anemic? <laughs> no, you, you know, I understand that. It's my teacher, Miss Spalding. She used to say, I'm sure should have got to the blood bank. Oh, the blood bank? You mean the Red Cross? Sure, that's right. And you got a red cross a stick on your window. Well, now I understand. It's merely a little mistake. Well, I'll tell you where to go, Mr. Basco. You see, the reason that sticker is there is because we gave blood ourselves last week. Oh, good. Hey, then, then maybe you can tell me all about it. Huh? Why, of course, there's nothing to it. And if you'll take my advice, drink a few glasses of water before you go. Oh, no, I'm not going to fool them. <laughs> I don't understand. When I'm going to give her blood, I'm going to give a real 100% of blood, I'm not to water the merchandise. <laughs> How do you do, sir? Do you wish to donate? Uh, no, thanks. I'm uh, just an eight. <laughs> I said donate. Oh, excuse me. I'm a thought you said a donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm a like to donut the blood. I mean, to donate the blood. Fine. Uh, just go over there to one of those little tables. We've got to fill out your form. But I'm a tell you. I made the plenty. You don't have to fill me out there no more. Please. A nurse will take down your statistics on a chart. All right. Hmm, it's just so quiet to hear. Nurses who wear blue uniforms and the doctors who wear white jackets. That's so funny. They call it the Red Cross. Yes, sir. Will you take a seat? Thank you. Now we'll fill out this chart. Name, please. Luigi. B -b -b Basco. What are just a one L and a one B? <laughs> Everyone's a little nervous. Address? 21 and North Hostel Street. Telephone? Yeah, in the back of the store. <laughs> no, your telephone number, sir. Oh, that's a, that's a Sedgwick at 398-95. Occupation? I'm a got the none. I'm a working in my own business. Oh, well, tell me about it. All right. Business is a very bad, but I'm a hoping it's going to pick up by Christmas. <laughs> no, no, what is it? Oh, oh, the business, that's an antique shop. All right. You may take your chart to that nurse over there. She's going to take my blood? No, she just examines you. She examines me? Yes. If you don't mind, I'm a right like the wait for a man nurse. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just takes your blood pressure and your temperature. Oh, all right. Uh, Mama Mia. I'm going to go to so many people, my blood is liable to change its mind and no one to give. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Nice. I'm brought to you my blood pressure and the temperature you want to take. You just have a seat, sir. Now then, let's fill out the rest of your chart. Have you had any illnesses in the last month? No. Diabetes? No. Pneumonia? No. Leukemia? Typhoid? Malaria? No, no, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. How much do you weigh? 138. Stripped? I'm a don't know. I'm never taking my clothes off in a drugstore. <laughs> See. 138. All right. Now, just keep this thermometer in your mouth, and I'll take your blood pressure. All right. Now, let me see. Mm -hmm. 130 over 90. All right, I'll have that thermometer now. 98.6. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to get a good marks like in a school, huh? <laughs> now, we're going to take your blood pretty soon. Good. Mm -hmm. When are you going to bring in the wounded soldier? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you see, your blood isn't used here. It's flown overseas. Oh, you fly overseas? Eh? Yes, why? I'm a good idea. What? I'm always want to travel. Maybe you keep the blood in me and take it out to when I'm going to get there. <laughs> Well, that's an excellent travel suggestion, but it's not very practical. Now, would you give me your finger, please? I'm going to take a blood count. You're going to count them, my blood? Yes. Why? Well, uh, nothing. Only you better get us some help, or we're going to be here all night. <laughs> well, now, don't, don't worry. I'll just take one drop. And that's uh, going to be enough for, for a wounded soldier? Uh, I'm afraid you're too inquisitive. <laughs> now, hold up your finger. There. Now, we put the drop on the slide. Uh, would you happen to know what type blood you have? Sure, same as everybody else. Red. <laughs> I see. Well, I, I just meant that... Well, we'll know in a minute. Ah, there it is. 
You're type O. Oh. Huh? What other types do you got then? Well, there are four blood types. A, A, B, B, and O. You're type O. Must have been some mistake. My name is Abasco. That's a B. <laughs> well, don't worry about that, Mr. Basco. Now, will you just come along with me, and I'll take your blood. Oh, oh, oh Mama Mia. Now, is it going to happen? Now, just lie down on this table, Mr. Basco. All right. That's right. Now, now, I'll clean your arm with these antiseptic solutions. There. Now, get ready. All right. Oh, <laughs> this won't hurt one bit. There. Did you feel it? No, no, please, please, nurse. I don't feel nothing. Good. You do me a big favor. Oh, certainly. What is it? When you send this bottle to that wounded soldier, maybe you put a little note on it that's going to say, from Luigi Basco, use in a good health. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm just to come back from a given of blood, and, and I'm feel very proud. It's a funny thing. I'm not going to be a paratrooper because I'm a foreigner. But it's lucky for me, my blood don't have to be a citizen. <laughs> anyway, after I'm give it the blood, the nurse was it took me to a little room, and she's offered me donuts and a coffee. I'm had a 50 cents worth, but for me, was it free? Yeah, Mamma Mia. But now I'm... I'm gonna think I'm, I'm a little weaker, so I'm, I'm gonna go into my bed and... Uh... Luigi, put down that letter. We're in a hurry. Yo, uh, we are all going somewhere and you are going with us. Yeah, but where, where are you going? We are gonna give blood. Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah, we was thinking. Why are we sending only you to give? We're gonna go with you together. Yeah, but I was... Come on, Luigi. That's all or none. Yeah, if you don't go, we're all gonna lose our nerve. We're all <laughs> going to Miss Spaulding's blood center and she's gonna meet us there and give two. Well, what's the matter, Luigi? Don't you want to go? Himmel, don't tell me I ate three dollars worth of steak for nothing. <laughs> Luigi, you're not going to back out, are you? No, 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 I'm not going to back out. All right, come on, come on, I'm going to go with you. Good, now smile, Luigi. You look so pale, somebody would think you gave already. <laughs> Well, Mamma Mia, I'm not had the heart to say no to my night school friends, because maybe they no go. So I went to Miss Pauling Center. I'm not told nobody nothing over there. And they was uh, took another pint from me. <laughs> That's uh, two pints, Mamma Mia. If you ever see an American soldier who looks like you, Luigi, that's uh, the one I'm not ever <laughs> And after I'm a gave was uh, some more donuts. I was uh, so dizzy, I'm uh, no know how much I'm uh, ate. I think it was uh, was a uh, fifteen. Anyway, I'm uh, sitting in my store and I'm uh, feeling uh, very patriotic and and also very dizzy. And hey, Luigi, come on with me. I made a date for you. Huh? I know. Wait, wait a minute, Pasquale. Hey, well, what do you mean you, you made a date for me? Well, you was figuring before what you should do for your country. So I figured out it's something that's so important, even I'm going to do it, and you're going to go with me. Yeah, but, uh, Mother Pasquale, what am I going to do? You're going to give her blood. Mamma mia, no. <laughs> Mamma mia, yes, sir. Luigi, if I'm willing to give her some of my grade A, top quality Pasquale blood, <laughs> you shouldn't hold her back any of that homogenizer red stuff for you guys. <laughs> hey, Pasquale, hey, you don't understand it. I'm already give it twice. And if I'm gonna give it once some more, I'm gonna be empty. <laughs> oh, stop with that lying, Luigi. Don't be afraid to give. You only gonna be given for one little soldier. My daughter Rose is a coming with us. She's a gonna give enough for a whole division. <laughs> Three quarts. Now come on, don't be a coward. You also get a free donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my squad, please. No, I said I wasn't in front of me. It's making me sick. I'm a no lad, you're gonna be a slacker. All the time you hollering to be a hero, country should have named something after you, now you're backing out. Now, come on. I'm gonna call him my Rosa. Rosa! Rosa! 
Rosa! <laughs> yes, my little bambino. Come on, we go to the blood bag. No, I do I, Pasquale. I'm, I'm I can't even walk. Ooh, look at the coward. Hey, Rosa, wait. I got an idea. What? I'll talk to him and you carry him. Oh, Papa! <laughs> <laughs> He's coming out of it, Doctor. Keep an eye on that blood pressure, nurse. <sighs> Luigi, don't just lay there. Talk to me. Say something, Luigi. Mama, Mama mia. What's happening? Uh, Mr. Pasquale, we've checked the records of all the blood centers. This man has donated blood three times today. Three times? My hero. <laughs> Luigi, let me kiss you. No, no, I'm going to faint again. <laughs> All right, Mr. Pasquale, lie down. Now, Mr. Basco. No, 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 doctor, wait. A little bottle again. Are you going to take them all from me? No, Mr. Basco, we're not taking this time. We're giving you a transfusion <laughs> from Mr. Pasquale's blood. What? From <laughs> Pasquale? How you like my luck? I'm here 25 years... That's the first time I ever give a blood for America, and who they give it to? A foreigner. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm a gave of blood. And now I'm a feel very good about what I'm a did for America. In fact, I'm a feel so good, I could go right now and give three more pints only for one thing. I'm a couldn't look another donut in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and so, my countryman Pasquale has said something that's really made me feel wonderful. And at the last time I realized it is something pretty important that's named after me. You know what that is, Mamma Mia? That's me, your loving son, Luigi Bosco, the little immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal treat to enjoy between your meals. A stick of Wrigley's Spearmint is never rich or heavy, yet it does satisfy that little hungry feeling. There's lots of refreshing, delicious flavor in it, and you can chew and enjoy it as long as you want. So at work or at home, and when you're out, always keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy. There's nothing better for a between-meal treat. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. Be sure to listen next Tuesday when Life with Luigi will emanate from New York City where Luigi will have as his special guest another great Italian-American, Mr. Frank Sinatra. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. <laughs> Music is under the direction of Lud Glasker. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.